All right, guys, so now that you have the simple mass program, I want to take you through how the log actually works. The first thing you're going to notice is we have a space for before and after pictures. Um, I would definitely recommend that you take advantage of this. What it's going to do is help to remind you what you look like before, during the program, what you want to look like after. Then once you've actually completed the program, it's going to help reaffirm um, that you did the work, you put in the time, you did exactly what, we, what you were supposed to do in terms of eating and in terms of lifting. And it, and it paid off in terms of your physicality. Um, so I think this is a really good start. With this being a kind of baseline um, lifting program for younger athletes that are just looking to get started, this is going to give you a very good base because it's gonna help reaffirm that when you do put in the work, um, the results are gonna show. If we get into the actual training log, the first thing that you're gonna notice is the body weight tracking tab. Um, so this is where we have some general information for you, as well as where we're going to be tracking um, your body weight progression. So you can see we have name, age, height, the weight that you're starting at, and then the weight that you're finishing at. And we'll actually be tracking that over here. Um, but the first thing that I would recommend is setting a goal um, for the duration of these eight weeks. So let's say that you want to put on 16 pounds. You then just insert 16 pounds there. And over here, you'd say, let's say your, your initial starting weight was 140. So 16 plus 140 is 156. We can now see that those numbers um, go out across the full eight weeks and what we will now be able to do is track and see where your actual weight is going in relation to your goal weight so let's say day one you weigh in at 141 and then by let's say day seven so going into the second week you're now 145 so now what that's going to show us is hey I'm trending up towards my goal weight right here so it's going to help to keep you on track um, and really show you whether you're on track for that goal weight throughout the duration of the program. The next tab is going to be your nutrition guidelines. So there's really two parts to putting on weight. Um, so this is a very important piece of this program. And essentially what this, is, what this is explaining is how many calories you need to maintain your body weight. And the reason that we do that, do that is because this is your base level of calories that you need. Right, and then based upon whether you want to gain to one pound in a week or whether you want to gain two pounds in a week, we make some very specific uh, caloric recommendations in order to help get you there. So you can think about this again as your maintenance calories, and then this as how many calories you need in order to add um, or gain however much weight you want to gain per week. And then the final piece is we give you um, an explanation for how to track your calories if you don't have experience um, doing so. So that's the nutrition tab. Um, next is going to be the lifting warm-up. So these are going to be done on either your lower body um, or upper body days. Um, these are pretty straightforward. But then we have your lifting recovery. So this is another um, piece that's very important in the log, but that often gets overlooked um, by a lot of athletes. And the reason that it's very important is because the better you're able to recover, um, the better your body is going to be able to repair its tissues after a workout, which means the better you're going to be in your next training session. So what we're doing with the recovery is immediately having you get into some breathing. And so the reason behind this is because we want to get you into that parasympathetic state where you're relaxed and your body can maximally recover and your tissues can repair themselves. Um, so that's our goal with the, with the breathing is to get you into that parasympathetic state. We're going to be tracking your heart rate over the course of these eight weeks. And then the second part of this three-step recovery routine is going to be where the actual mobility work comes in. So you can see we have six different potential restrictions in both your upper and lower body. Um, so how I would recommend going about doing this is picking one of these um, for each restriction per day. So you'd go one pec, one lat, one thoracic, etc. Um, on each day, and then within or over the course of one week, um, because you're going to be having two lower and two upper body workouts. In one week, you'll then have covered all these exercises or all these mobility uh, modalities, and then you're going to know kind of which ones you need and then which ones work the best for you. And then you can use those over the course of the next seven weeks of the program. So that's your recovery tab. Um, next, we have a simple exercise demos tab. So with a warm up, um, all those exercises have exercise demonstrations or explanations here. So if you don't know what you're doing, for any lift um, throughout this program, you can come in here, you can find the link, um, click on it, and then it's going to take you to an explanation of that exercise. 
So the last part of the training log are the actual um, training logs. So in the top left, we're going to have your schedule, what you're doing Monday through Sunday. And for both month one and month two, over the course of these eight weeks, you're going to have two lower body days and two upper body days throughout the course um, of your training um, with this program. And how it works is we'll have your exercises listed here, your sets, reps, and then a place for you to fill out the poundage that you're doing. So one thing that I want to make note of is if anything is labeled um, A1, A2, B1, B2, etc., that just means that it's superset. So basically what you'll do is go ahead and do one set of your box squat, then one set of your single leg dumbbell RDL. And then you go back to your box squat and do your second set, come back to your single leg RDL and do your second set. Um, so that's how your superset should work. And then for your actual weight tracking, um, let's say for box squat, the first week you did 225 for three sets. And then let's say by week three, you're at 245. Um, 255 and finish with 265. So now we can see over here in the far right how your total poundage um, progressed throughout those three weeks. So we'll, be, we'll not only be able to track how your body weight um, is progressing through our body weight tracker here, but we'll also be able to uh, track how your actual lifting numbers are progressing um, through your training logs here. So I think that's a, a big advantage um, for this because it's gonna make it very easy to see whether you're making progress and how much progress you're making. So I wanna finish by saying it's going to be very easy to get this program, um, to start it, to be super excited about it, um, to think it looks cool and everything like that, but then to fizzle out by week two or fizzle out by week three and not actually follow through with the program. But I would encourage you guys not to do that, um, to maintain your discipline, maintain your drive towards getting this program done, um, go through the full eight weeks and I, I don't make guarantees, but I'm positive that you're going to make the progress that you're looking for, that you're going to meet your goals, as long as you follow the uh, caloric recommendations and then also the lifting programs that are laid out in this log. With that being said, if once you finish, um, you'd like to learn more about what we do, we have some places where you can find out more. Um, so we can, you can go ahead and watch our athlete registration video here. Um, you can see work that we've done with previous athletes in the past. Then if you're interested in training with us more in the future um, and getting started in what we do with Thack Baseball, um, our actual training programs are much more in-depth than this. We cover hitting, lifting, speed, uh, mobility, nutrition, pretty much anything that you could ask for, for both pitchers and position players. Um, we like to take a holistic approach to the development of our athletes. But if you'd like to get further training from us after finishing this program, um, you can find all of my contact info at the bottom of this page here.